Today, we remember Janie Godley, the Scottish comedian who made millions laugh while fearlessly battling life's challenges. Godley passed away at the age of 63 after a courageous struggle with ovarian cancer. Her journey, marked by humor, resilience, and a unique connection with her audience, has left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. Born in 1961 in the East End of Glasgow, Janie Godley started her journey in an unlikely place as a pub landlady. Over time, she found her voice on the comedy circuit, drawing on the raw humor and grit of her Glasgow roots. Her stories weren't just funny, they were real, and her audience connected with the honesty and vulnerability she brought to her performances. In 2016, Janie went viral when she held up a sign protesting Donald Trump's visit to Scotland. The image, bold, unapologetic and hilarious, captured her spirit perfectly. But it was during the pandemic that Godley's popularity truly skyrocketed with her dubbed-over videos of Nicola Sturgeon's COVID briefings. Through these voiceovers, Godley became a lifeline of laughter in an uncertain time. She captured the mood of a nation, turning dry political briefings into moments of shared humour. Her fans couldn't get enough of her, and even Scotland's then First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, became a friend and admirer. Sturgeon later described Janie as a true force of nature and one of the funniest people I have ever known. Janie's family and friends were a huge part of her life and career. Her daughter, Ashley Storey, followed in her footsteps, finding success in comedy as well. In a moving video after Janie's passing, Ashley thanked the staff at the Prince and Princess of Wales Hospice for their care. She also thanked Janie's fans for their outpouring of love, which she believes kept her mother going through her hardest days. Ashley Story, clip. I believe in my heart of hearts that she felt every bit of love you sent to her. I think it kept her going, genuinely. We got her longer because of all the support and the love in the world. Even in her final days, Janie's humour never left her. Just this week from her hospice bed, she received an honorary degree from the University of Glasgow, a fitting tribute to her influence on Scottish culture and comedy. Earlier this year, Godley was also honoured with the Sir Billy Connolly Spirit of Glasgow Award at the Glasgow International Comedy Festival. Her work was filled with recognition, but it was her ability to make people laugh and connect with them on a deep level that defined her legacy. Her comedic reach extended into radio as well. She was a regular on BBC Radio 4's Loose Ends and later hosted her own series, The Sea Bomb, where she shared her experiences with cancer with her characteristic mix of humour and honesty. Tributes to Janie have poured in from across the world. First Minister John Swinney shared his condolences, remembering the joy and laughter she brought when Scotland needed it most. Julia Mackenzie from BBC Radio 4 called her a brilliant storyteller who embodied Glasgow's stoic, witty nature. Janie's raw, often heart-wrenching stories captured the duality of life, the laughter and the tears. Ashley ended her farewell message with a nod to one of Janie's famous voiceovers. Frank, get the door. It was a simple, heartfelt way to say goodbye, reminding all of us of the laughter her mother brought into the world. Janie Godley was more than a comedian. She was a force of nature, a voice of laughter in dark times, and a friend to many who had never even met her. She'll be remembered not only for her humor, but for her courage, her compassion, and her spirit. Today, as we say goodbye, we hold on to the joy she brought us. Rest in peace, Janie Godley. You will be missed, but your laughter will live on 